But let's go ahead and uh, continue eating this funnel cake and see how far we can get done with it. You're right there, d <laughs> What's up guys, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to the vlog, and today we're here with d -Von at Knott's Berry Farm, but- Knott's Mary Farm. How did I know you are gonna interrupt me? But yes, Knott's Mary Farm. Today's the official first day of Knott's Mary Farm for the Christmas season, and I'm super excited. Are you? You don't seem excited, because if you were excited, you would be like Jonah Hill, like, ah, the meme. I'm more excited if you weren't here. Anyways, <laughs> um, yeah, so we're here, we're gonna check out what they have available, and we're also gonna see what food they have available. Now this year, we didn't see that they had like a pass to do like tabs and stuff like that, so kind of bummed about that. Yeah, because I like, I like carrying the lanyard all around, why not? That's what lanyard, right? Yes. Is yeah, but that's what you like. Yeah, I like to feel cool, especially you know, like something you can actually touch instead of being all digital or like whatever. Well, go touch a helicopter because it's above us. <laughs> <laughs> but we're gonna be checking out some food items regardless, and we're gonna see the snow that they have here, the decorations. Yeah, snow here, dude. The snow here kicks. Uh oh, it is so cool. I promise you, it's the best snow we've ever seen. Okay. Yeah, it's such a good snow party. Trust Look, me. Okay, I'm, I'm looking forward to it. Oh yeah, <clears throat> and if it's not then you can buy me a drink. Um, so yeah guys, so we're gonna go ahead, head inside and check out what they have available for eats and then maybe we'll get Devon on a silver bullet. But anyways, if you guys are excited. No. <laughs> Speaking of roller coasters, if you guys get this video or any other video that Devon is featured in, whether it's a short or not, at to 10,000 <laughs> views, to 10,000 views, Devon will go face, not face first, Devon will go front row of Incredicoaster. And let, let's just uh, let you guys know, he hates roller coasters. Mm. So if you guys want to see D-Bond screaming in 360. I almost threw up on the teacups at Disneyland. This is true. If you guys want to see D-Bond screaming in a full 360 view, all you got to do is get this video or any other video to 10K views and we'll get this guy I did front not row. I did not sign up for this. I have plenty of video indicating that you just said yes to that, so don't even say anything, okay? But yes, get this video or any other video that D-Bond's in to 10K views and we will get him on the front of Incredicoaster. No ifs, ands, or buts. But if you guys are excited for this video, make sure to slap that like button, hit that subscribe button, turn on notifications, and let's get ready for a Knott's Mary Farm Phil. Phil. Uh, I didn't finish what I was okay. saying. Okay. Knott's Mary Farm Phil Day. <laughs> <laughs> so, Devon, there's no indication of like what they have available, like pamphlet wise. No pamphlets. No, pamphlets, no, nothing, no papers. No, advertisement no flyers. Uh -oh. Merry Christmas here. <laughs> So we're just gonna have to just stroll on through all of Knott's and see what food we can find. Cause that smells good. Is that turkey leg? No, I farted. Sorry. We ran into Mondo. Five Fires YouTube right here. Oh, yeah. Mondo, what we get? Gobble gobble loaded potato. Pretty much Thanksgiving on a potato. <laughs> that's that's a whole lot of but stuff. Not even just that. Our Knott's adventure. She said this is the number one item today. So really? That's why we got it. Okay. Well, we're gonna find out. That, that's a whole lot. So it's cranberry, raisins, uh, gravy, turkey pieces, some chives. So it's a whole lot of shebang in there. So we're gonna try it and see what it's like. Right. Hopefully it's yes. good. All right, here we go. A little bit of everything. A little bit of demon in the back. Oh, damn. Okay. Oh, finger looking good. Oh. <laughs> wow. Damn. That gravy works so good with the potato. I'm gonna definitely take another bite. But Look at the potato. Look at that potato, you guys. Yeah, it's, it's stuff, baby. There's a lot. It's steaming too. It's nice and hot. Mm. I can tell Devon enjoys it. That is absolutely delicious. I love that. Nobody liked it. Yeah, nobody liked it. It was terrible, guys. Don't get it. <laughs> Don't get it whatsoever. <laughs> slap. Yeah, slap for sure. That was delicious. Mondo, right, what do you enough think? Enough talking. Tree lighting. All right, no more talking. We're going to the tree lighting. Uh -oh. Now we're on a mission to walk off this potato, but also because the tree lighting is supposed to be happening right now. And uh, I think it's, it's the first one, of, first one of the year. So let's go check it out. Good evening, Hi. everyone. Hi. My name is Victor and welcome to Knott's Berry Farm. Woo. And welcome to what is the very first tree lighting ceremony of the Christmas season. Everyone, please make some noise for the one and only Snoopy. All right, here we go. Five, four, three, two, one. Oh. Oh. 
Amazing. Thank you very much, everyone. Thank you for joining us. Happy holidays and Merry Christmas. So that was the tree lighting. People that's your first time seeing the tree lighting here at Knott's Berry Farm, or Mary Farm, actually. Yeah. What'd you think? That was cool, pretty amazing. Um, wasn't really expecting much. Uh, Snoopy came out. Apparently, Snoopy never comes out, which is tight. Really? Yeah. Oh. I, I would have thought he would come out all the time, but apparently that's the first time he did it. Wow. Okay, I, I consider myself lucky. Big lucky. So now that we're done with the tree, I think it's time that we go get more food. What do you think, Dibon? Oh, uh -oh. yeah, well, I'm down for some food. All right, <laughs> so excited. <laughs> we are actually going to stop inside the section here because I heard that they have either food, drinks, treats, but the main thing that they have here is Santa. So we're going to go see Santa right now. Dibon, the man, the myth, the legend is here. Yeah. Santa. We're gonna jump in line so we can meet him. Look at Devon's ready to sit on his lap and ask for his Christmas presents. Have you been a good boy or a naughty boy, Devon? Um, so I was at Disneyland last week and he told me, he winked at me, he's like, you are on the good list. So I'm not sure what that means. He told you that by a wink? He winked at me and said, you're on the good list. We'll see what he says here. We'll see what not Santa says. <laughs> when was the last time you uh, talked to Santa Claus? So last year? <laughs> Have you been writing him your, your letters with your with your I wish I always write him a letter, but I never get anything back in return. Like he doesn't write back to me. He never writes back. What are you talking oh. about? Anyway, That's not. not his job. His job is to get you what you <laughs> asked for, not to write you back. He left you on red. It's okay. <laughs> What's up, Santa? Hello, how are you today? It's good to see you. It's great to see you too. We we obviously came for the main man himself. I know Snoopy's here, but Santa's obviously here, so. Well, you know, he's the big beagle. I am I am the big man in the chest. Yeah, see? <laughs> yeah, the big man with the beard. So, um, my buddy here, yes. he hasn't seen you since he was, how tall? That's all. That's all. That's pretty short. Don't yeah. Sit next to me. <laughs> so, he wants to tell you everything that he wants on his list. Everything on your list. Remind right, me of your name first. Uh, my name is Devon. It's great to meet you, Devon. Thank you so much. Of course. It's been a long time. time. <laughs> so, what would you like for Christmas? I want everything from Bath & Body Works. I want a gift card from JCPenney. I want it's also a gift card from Target. I want to make sure there's no lines at Denny's when I go late at night to eat. <laughs> hey, Santa, do you want like a pen and paper? Because this guy's... Um, uh, I'm notating most of it. You Got said it. Okay. Bath and Body Works, JC Penney's, Target. Oh, he's pretty and, good. Uh, no line at Denny's. Hey, there wow. you go. Wow. Yeah. So that's why Santa's Love a man. Guy. When was the last time you came to see me? Um, actually, I came to see you last year. All right. But uh, they said that you were too busy, so we didn't have a chance to talk to you. So we just screamed your name right there in the corner, and you said hi to us. Makes sense. Yeah. Makes sense. Well, at least we get to say hello from up close to Yeah, we actually get to sit in the chair and all that. I wouldn't ask to sit on your lap because I'm not trying to break your legs or anything, but <laughs> yeah. Um, I only asked for one thing this year, Santa. All right, I'll do my best. I, well, I just wish that everybody that watches this video gets this video to 10K uh, views so Devon can go front row on a roller coaster. Can you give us a little Christmas magic to make that happen, Santa? Christmas magic. There we go. Make this video get to 10K views, guys, so Devon goes front row in credit coaster. Uh, that's not too much to ask, right? I don't think so. Okay, there you guys go. Santa said it. I'll see you later, bud. Thank Bye, you for Chris. everything. It's great to meet you. Great to meet you too, sir. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. <laughs> Merry Chrysler. Merry Chrysler. Devon, how you feeling? You just met Santa Claus. I am speechless, lost for words, because not only did I, he's giving me everything I wanted for, he remembered everything down to the very last bit. He even said, I remember you last time I saw you when you were this stuff. He was actually like really. On point. Yeah, he remembered everything. everything really fast too, so I was. <laughs> yeah, I forgot it, I was the one I was in front of you. Okay, so now that we're done with, the, with Santa, okay. it's time for us to find some food. That baked potato is long gone out of my system, so we need to actually get some food. Okay. So let's figure what do you want out. To eat? a little bit of everything at this point. So let's figure out what we can get. I kind of want some salty stuff, some savory, not sweet yet. Don't even do... I want some savory, no, no sweet yet. So you get the Okay, Devon, we got our drinks. Yes, we do. We also got some food, but drinks first. Yeah, I gotta so, go with the dessert first, you guys. That's how you, the proper way to eat. This is the pie seltzer, and I don't want to spill it, so let's just cheers it real quick. Cheers. Cheers, and let's see how it tastes. I gotta get us both on camera for this one. This is phenomenal. Oh damn. <laughs> oh damn. It's very sweet though. It is the very best sweet. way I can describe this, apple pie. Yeah. In a seltzer. Yeah. Amazing. Uh-huh. Big like cheers. Like I said, gotta start with dessert first. <laughs> yeah, no, this is really good. 100% a slap. Hold on, let me put this down so I can slap it. It this is delicious. Not only is this delicious, but they topped it off to the very top where when you go walking around, you start spilling it everywhere. Yeah, homie in the back over here, really, he topped this off for sure. So it's the pies. 
I'm trying to lick your drink. Ah, I see it. <laughs> so it's a pie seltzer from this little spot. Let me let me show you guys real quick. It's the Wilderness Patio, and it's actually right outside the area where we met Santa. So this is where it's at, Debon. Uh, did you take? Are you eating already? No. So let's go look at what actually comes with this item real quick. Gravy, mashed potato. This is it right here, the gotta have it. Turkey ball on a bed of ma ma what does it say? marshmallows. Bed of mashed potatoes with gravy and green bean almondine? I don't know, I've never seen that word in my life. So we're just gonna split it down the middle and we're gonna see the inside. And here it is all split down the middle. We're gonna go ahead and try it and see what it's about. It doesn't look appetizing, but I'm pretty sure it's delicious. I gotta get a scoop with the turkey and the mashed potatoes. So let me grab mine real quick. Here we go, guys. Cheers. Cheerios. Bon appetit. Bon appetit. <laughs> yeah, slap. All I taste is mashed potatoes. I don't really taste turkey. Maybe my, my turkey wasn't a big enough scoop. Damn, that, now that's a big scoop. I was expecting it something totally different, but it is still delicious. It tastes like a, a little bit of turkey with some stuffing in there. I feel like I taste more stuffing than turkey. Really? Yeah, I feel like I taste a lot more stuff in the turkey. Uh, it's not bad. I'm gonna say, taste-wise, just might be because I'm hungry, but I think it's a slap, it's good. The only thing is, I feel like I wanted more of the turkey taste. I feel like I got everything else. More everything else, less turkey, but it's still good. It's a big plate. Obviously, we're gonna uh, share this between the two of us. d hasn't stopped eating, so you know it's a slap for him. But yeah, I think it's a pretty good dish. This, plus the beer combination, perfect, perfect. Let's go ahead and finish the food, Debon, and move on to get some more snacks. Mmm. <laughs> we made it over here two papas mexicanas because we're going to be getting a tamal fries. Is that what it is? Yeah, I'm curious what that is because I still don't know what it is. Tamal and fries? Like, I don't it's know. It's a little combination of uh, tamales and fries. We'll see. It sounds like a slap to me, but we'll, we'll find out. We're currently waiting for our food right now, but we decided to get another drink, which is called the Gozes Are Red. The only thing I know is that it's an ale, and we're sharing it. So, let's see. That's a pretty even pour right there. And we're back, we're here <laughs> live at Knox Mary Farm, in case you don't know what kind of vlog you are watching. And today, right now, at this exact same moment, it is uh, 6.33 p.m. Pacific time, in case you don't know. <laughs> we are gonna try the tamale fries, you guys. Literally, this thing's weighs like, as much as like a five pound baby. It's heavy. It's <laughs> definitely heavy, 100%. Oh my goodness, they literally put a whole tamal <laughs> over fries. <laughs> Who does that? Who does that? Apparently not does. What kind of tamal is it? That's some, it has a red sauce. I think it's chicken. You I think, think it's chicken? chicken. I think they had a chicken sign over there for it. Okay. Yeah, so it's a chicken tamal with red sauce, cotija cheese, and then it's on top of fries. It smells amazing. If Bath and Body Works had a scent like this, <laughs> This is what I would have. Bath and Body Works today, dog. Yeah, Santa Claus for Bath and Body Works. It smells like Bath and Body Works. What can I say? I love Bath and Body Works, y'all. Apparently, apparently, Devon is the reason why they stay in business. <laughs> so what we're gonna do is we're gonna get a slice of this tamal. I'm gonna show you the cross section, and then we're gonna taste it. And we're also gonna compare it to the tamal that they had at DCA. That, oh, that last tamal one. was amazing. I was actually at Disneyland after that. I had to go get a full one for myself. Really? I swear. Damn, bro. All right, let's dig into this, and uh, we will be back in just a sec. Oh my God, you guys see that? A tamal with fries. Sorry, guys. It, it's literally 6 p.m. and it's like literally the darkest hour of the year. You know what I'm saying? 6:34 p.m. It's 14 p.m. o'clock. <laughs> I feel like that's a little bit more. Damn, that's a big bite, Debon. Yeah, we'll see. All right, cheers, man. Hopefully cheers. it's good. I think we're gonna do another bite. Okay, we're gonna do another bite. I think we need another bite. <laughs> I think we need another bite. Yeah. I think we need another bite. <laughs> no, this is actually really, really delicious. I think the cotija cheese oh, and a is sauce. what really brings this together. The tamal is so uh, like fluffy. Yeah. And the masa, the masa the tamal is delicious. Yes, yes. Delicious. They did an awesome job with that. And the, like I said, the cheese, I feel like it really just brings it all together. Damn it, Jaguar, I'm trying to talk. The kick coming in? Yeah, there's a little spice from the, from the sauce that's on there, but this is fantastic. Definitely a slap for me. Ebon? Slap. I just, wait, I just wish it had a little bit more meat. It's not as meaty as a Disneyland one. 100%. But it is delicious. Yes. Yeah, that, that, that Disneyland has that on this tamal, but that's it. 
It's just uh, the meat to uh, tamal ratio is a little bit, it's a little slim pickings, but the taste wise for everything else, it kind of makes up for it. I would say get this if you're gonna try it. Just might as well, it's good. All right, Devon, we've officially finished the fries. I am getting to that point. Point of what? Point, point of, of no return? The point of popping. Like my, my stomach is there, but we're gonna still try two more things. Two more things. The burger. Okay. And we're gonna try and get the funnel cake. Yeah. Yeah. So let's go get the burger. We've made it to our next stop, which is Coaster's Drive-In. And Devon? What's up? Are you ready for this burger? Is this burger ready for me? Uh, I mean, it depends on how you're gonna eat it. Cause you know, the way you eat things sometimes is a little sus. But we're gonna be getting the garlic truffle mayo and mushroom burger. So let's see how this tastes. All right, guys, and we're back. What is this place called again? This is called Coasters. Coasters, okay, guys. Yeah, it's right in between the roller coasters, so it kind of makes sense, you know? You want favorite. I'm about to cut into this. What is this? A mushroom? This is a garlic mayo and... Garlic mayo? I never had a garlic mayo before, but I love mayo and I love garlic. Neither have I. Now, um, with this burger, I'll show you guys right here. There's Swiss cheese, there's garlic cloves, bro. Actual garlic cloves. What? Yeah. And uh, you mushrooms. See that? Yeah. Actual I, don't, garlic. I, don't, I don't think you guys saw in that clip, but look at how big this uh -oh. garlic cloves are. Bro, take, take the no, we're taking out. that uh -oh. out, bro. I'm a, I'm a vampire dog. We ain't doing that, dude. Uh uh. So Devon's gonna go ahead and split this in half. We're gonna try it, and hopefully, it's good. I mean, it looks good. It's, it looks like a regular burger. Like, obviously, it's theme park food, so it's not gonna be the most extravagant display. But, I mean, you can't go wrong with the burger, Swiss cheese, mushrooms. You can definitely go wrong with too much garlic, like that had. There's a cross section right there. It's actually a Look double the patty. Look at the cheese. Yeah, it's a double patty, Swiss cheese with the marshmallow. Marshmallow. I said that earlier. Marshmallow? I said marshmallows. Why'd you say marshmallows? You really want marshmallows on this burger. Oh, there's a piece of garlic that just fell out. Wow. Damn. Yeah, uh, no, with mushrooms. So let's uh, pray to the garlic gods that we don't come out with the, with the nastiest breath ever. That is mad garlicky. Wow. It's okay. Would I pay $17 for it? Mm, no. But it's okay. Would I eat it if someone offered it to me? Yes. Would I pay for it? No. I would not say it's worth the price point. Luckily, we are, luckily I have the pass where I get you know my meal for free but it's it's nothing special I literally taste more garlic than anything it's it's just a regular burger you can taste the mushrooms but the cheesy guys can't really taste the cheese what do you think is it a slap is it not a slap like I feel like it's more like a like a little little tap not even a like a slap it's a like it doesn't have the slap value not at all mm -hmm. no let's just say this it's edible all right, you guys, it's edible. <laughs> I did not instantly throw it up like other foods you tried at theme parks. I'm gonna say which one, you gotta watch our videos for that. You guys wanna watch that video, it's gonna be up in the corner. You know, it is what it is. I feel like we got some bangers earlier uh, from what we tried. There's, you're not gonna get bangers all all video. Like, there's gonna be some stuff that you try that's just not it. This is, this is not it. So we're gonna, what we're gonna do is, we're gonna try to actually go get the funnel cake. I have no idea how long the line is, but we're gonna go try and see if we can get it. But also, I need to go show you the snow. We keep missing the snow. Okay. And before they close, we need to go check out the snow. Yeah. So let's go over there right now. And there it is, the funnel cake. Wait a minute, yellow snow? What's yellow snow? You don't know what yellow snow is? Well, Debon, today you're gonna learn. Yellow snow is lemon flavored snow. Lemon flavored. It's lemon! It's lemon. <laughs> <laughs> no, we're actually not gonna get that one. We just thought it'd be funny if we did a joke about it. We're gonna be getting this one that's like a German chocolate, I love chocolate funnel cake. So, super excited about that. Additionally excited because German chocolate cake was actually my dad's favorite cake. And his birthday recently passed, so this kinda, I feel like we're, we're doing it for him. Okay. Yeah. We're in the section where they blow the snow out of Thank you, Mr. Train. We're in the section where the snow is supposed to go crazy. I'm crossing my fingers that you get to experience what I got to experience last year, because dude, it's supposed to be great. Okay, I'm, I'm hoping for it. Uh, cross my fingers, man, cross my fingers. There it is! There it is! This is a good spot right here. And there we go, Devon. Wow. He's gonna find a sweater. 
Yeah, it's uh, it's getting cold out here. <laughs> so, Devon, uh, th <laughs> don't look up. This is the way Nod does snow. Wow. Isn't it crazy? I feel like I just showered right now. I know it smells. My, my Bath and Body Works so. Not the Bath and Body Works again. <laughs> So Devon, the camera is full of snow. Wow. And my hair is full of snow. I think we need to go get this funnel cake before we get snowed in or something, bro. Yeah, I don't want the blizzard. Thing. So Just before we leave in. though, before we leave, does it, did it meet your expectations? It exceeded. <laughs> All right, let's get out of here. We have made it to the location that has the funnel cake. So the German chocolate funnel cake with chocolate drizzle, coconut toppings, pecans, and soft serve. This is like the ultimate funnel cake, so I'm super excited for it. All right guys, and we are back. In case you're wondering what the grand finale for today is. Oh my God, just wait for a drum roll, please. -da -da! A funnel cake with ice cream, German chocolate, pecans. Oh my God, look at that chocolate drizzle all over the whole thing, you guys. This is enough for one person. So you gotta go order your own, Chris. Okay. <laughs> We're gonna be digging into this funnel cake that's got a whole lot of stuff. What is this stuff right it's here? It's coconut. <gasps> it's coconut too? It's co that's what German chocolate cake has. It has coconut. You got coconut, you got everything right here all in one bite. You got the ice cream? Yeah, ice cream too. The what? Ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I got a pretty good bite too. Wow. I, yeah, this, this is this is a wow, massive that's a mouthful. Bite. That's a mouthful. So cheers, Devon. Cheers. Let's see. That is so good. I'm using my hands, I don't care. That's how delicious this is. I'm not judging you, G. I'm not even worried about it. That is so delicious. Now I understand why it's a $20 funnel cake. That's crazy. But it's also extremely heavy. Like when I got this, it was almost the same weight as that five pound baby tamal fry that we got earlier. Like it's so heavy, but it's delicious. You definitely get a lot of the coconut tasting from here. The ice cream is nice, smooth vanilla. You get that rich chocolateness, and the funnel cake is actually a chocolate-based funnel cake as well. So, really? yeah, so that's what gives it a little bit extra chocolatey flavor. This is not a one-person job. I don't know what Devon's talking about. There's no way Devon can finish this. If you guys think Devon can finish this all by himself, let me see a hashtag Devon finish in the chat. Devon finish. That sounds dirty. I always finish. <laughs> okay, we're not gonna use that one. We're not gonna use that one. Just put hashtag funnel cake. <laughs> so as you guys can tell by our description of this funnel cake, it's a slap for me. Debon. Damn. Triple, quadruple, five, six, six slaps. That goes to show you guys how good this funnel cake is. I'm so glad that we saved this for last. Like this is a perfect way to go out. Like ended off with a banger. Yeah, we got all the salty, all the savory, and then we got a giant funnel cake with ice cream, chocolate, coconut, all that. And I'm also actually very happy that we got this too. Like I mentioned earlier, it was my dad's birthday recently, and uh, his favorite. He would love it. He would fuck. Yeah, he my would love this. yeah my dad's favorite cake was German chocolate cake. So um, I'm glad that I was able to find a little something during his birthday month that I can go ahead and share with Devon and share with you guys uh, that has to do with him. So uh, yeah, I, I feel like everything kind of like went hand in hand with that, so I'm super happy about it. But let's go ahead and uh, continue eating this funnel cake and see how far we can get done with it. You right there, d <laughs> All right, guys, well, I wanted to show you the leftover that we, I thought we were gonna have but then Devon decided to just go with no fork and just lick directly from the plate. Um, I, 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 I can't say I'm, I'm surprised, to be honest. Devon, why don't you show them what you have left over here? Just some pecans. Anyone want some pecans? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Any, anybody watching the vlog right now, I'll give it to you through the screen. All right, everybody. And we're back. Oh my God. We're all done with today's vlog and it's been a long one. A long one full of food, Drinks and pop bellies, because that's what I got right now. How you feeling? I'm feeling good. Yeah? I want to go eat in and out after this. I told you this. I don't know how Devon does it. No, honestly, today was a lot of fun. Obviously, Christmas has officially started here at Knott's Berry Farm. And this is exactly where him and I met 40 well, months ago. It was actually like over there. No, but me and Devon actually met at Knott's during COVID, during their Taste of Knott's event. Yeah. And that, and it's been 
Absolute torture ever since. Um, it's been a you know a great time being Debon's friend. You know, <laughs> favorite thing you tried today, Debon? The German chocolate pecan coconut chocolate drizzle funnel cake, you guys. With ice cream. Yeah, with ice with cream. ice cream. Yeah, that was definitely top tier. Um, I probably have to agree that was probably my favorite. And then the the pie seltzer. Pie seltzer? Yeah, those are really good. Yeah. Yeah, those Delicious. are like fantastic today. I'm so glad that we got to try all those different kinds of things versus it just kind of being like a streamlined either treat or savory type of thing. Mm -hmm. And we got to meet Santa Claus. Yeah, we did. Yeah. Nuts. If you are watching us right now, please, please next year, add, add some more protein in, in your things. And don't just stuff us up with carbs. Just saying, just saying, they're watching us. All right, Debon, I, I hope not takes your advice. But ultimately, I had a great time. Debon, thank you so much for another great time hanging out with the vlog. Like I said before, guys, 10K views on this video or any other video that Debon's on, Incredicoaster, front row, three, 360 camera, Debon's face all everywhere, everywhere. But anyways, guys, we're gonna get out of here and I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. And if you guys did, make sure to slap that like button, hit that subscribe button, turn on notifications, and let me know what the comment down below. Out of all the food we tried today, what looked good to you? Let me know down below. If you guys are not following me on social media, everything's under I'm Chris Rogers. If you guys are not following Debon, at DJ Debon. If you guys are not following me on Twitch, that's also under I'm Chris Rogers. If you guys are not following Debon, at DJ Debon. And with all that being said, guys.